Welcome back. Our sponsors at Boys and Girls Aid, founded in 1885, is Oregon's oldest child welfare agency, serving children living in foster care and homeless and runaway youth. With nearly 6,000 Oregon children uh, living in foster care, an organization like Boys and Girls Aid is working hard to make a difference in the life of a child. So here to share more is Dr. Susan Huntington, president and CEO, and Chantelle, a current foster foster parent for Boys and Girls Aid. Thank you so much for both of you being here. Absolutely, thank, thank you for having us. No problem. So Dr. Susan, let's start with you. Tell me a little bit about the work being done at Boys and Girls Aid. Yeah, Boys and Girls Aid, we believe that all children will do better when they have a family someone to support them, someone in their corner. Yeah. And we've been doing that for 140 years and we do that in a lot of different ways. Um, but we really focus on ensuring that kids have families. Yeah, and Chantelle, you are a foster parent. Yes. Tell me how you got involved, how, how you came to that decision. That's a big, uh, you know, dedication. Oh, yes. uh, so tell me a little bit about your journey. So growing up, I used to volunteer with summer camps and after school programs, which I developed a passion for working with children. And so when in college, I majored in early childhood education. And during that time frame, I knew that I possibly wouldn't be able to have children. And I had a good friend who was in foster care and was adopted. So I said, okay, that's the route that I'll end up going. And I was blessed later on with children of my own, but still wanted to open up my home to another child. I love that, mm -hmm. that's so amazing. Now, how can people uh, become involved and become like uh, Chantelle and open their homes and hearts to a, uh, a, a child and become a foster parent? Yeah, Boys and Girls Aid, we foster, we, we um, have our own foster parents that we recruit and certify. So just going to our website, boysandgirlsaid.org to learn more about how you can be a foster parent. Is the now, easiest what are, way. What are you looking for in a foster parent? Does there need to be yeah. a particular income yeah. or a particular place that you live? Yeah, great question. We need you to have an extra room okay. for the child and room in your heart to, mm -hmm. to take in a child who has a lot of trauma. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Chantelle, tell me a little bit about uh, the the things that you've run into as a as a foster parent. I know it can't be easy, mm -hmm. but um, I'm sure that reward is is so much greater than any bump oh, yes. in the road that you might experience. Tell me about that. Oh yes, and just seeing the transition, the kids excelling. I know I've had a kiddo who could barely read and seeing how they were at in the third grade, but maybe at a first grade level. And during that time frame where they've able, been able to meet those expectations in the school setting, it's very rewarding just to see how they excel and how they are able to develop great skill sets, socially engaging with other children. And it just really humbles you, Yeah, the whole experience And I feel itself. like sometimes we're wondering, you know, I, I'm sure there are many avenues to getting there. How does a child become, you know, get in the foster care system? Yeah, you know, children enter at no fault of their own. Yeah. So there's a lot of abuse and neglect happening in the home. And the state of Oregon pulls those children from the home to figure out what's going on. Yeah. And how can we help that family to be um, safer and give them the skills that they need to be a good parent. And so they enter the foster care system and they, you know, they're given a trash bag and said, mm -hmm. load up what you think you need to take with you. And then they go to a foster home. Yeah. Someone like Chantelle, who is a complete stranger to them. Mm -hmm. And they really are needing a safe place to land. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Someone who really, when I say open your heart and home, it really is open your heart yeah. to accepting these children. Mm -hmm. And I, and I also feel like I, we have to uh, distinguish uh, foster parent between adoptive parent. Yes. That's very important. That is very important. A foster parent is saying, I am here for you during this time of need. Yeah. And when the time is right for you to move to someplace, mm -hmm. whether that be back home mm -hmm. or into a different home, we're here for you until that mm -hmm. happens. I love it. Thank you so much to thank both of you. you for being here. Thank we you. really appreciate yeah, you. Thank you. Um, if you consider being a foster parent, the need is great.